Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Maddie and welcome back to another TBR video. We are using my TBR jar to pick my June reads, maybe. So I want to be very intentional this month and kind of throughout the summer because I have some like really good summer books on here and I want to make sure that I'm curating my TBR to things that I'm actually going to read compared to it just being super super random from the TBR jar. So we're going to start out with the TBR jar, pick like four or five prompts and if it's looking like okay this is not going exactly the way I want it to then I will put these down and I will share exactly which ones that I know I want to read this month. And yeah, so because I just don't want to have a bunch of random ones on my TBR that I don't want to read because that just really doesn't make any sense. <laughs> Before we get started on the TBR jar part, three books that I know I'm going to be reading in June are The Seven Year Slip by Ashley, Ashley Poston. I'm doing a buddy read of this with my friend Paige. I will link her down below, her YouTube and her Instagram because I love her. So we're doing a read so I've already started this. Also interjection please ignore this band that I now have around my waist. I have an ice pack on my back because I have arthritis in my back and sometimes it hurts really bad especially when I'm having to sit on the ground like this so bear with me but it's fine just ignore it. <laughs> And then the next book that I'm going to be reading in June, which I've already started, I'm about 80 pages in, and that is Swordcatcher by Cassandra Clare. I haven't heard too much about this book so far. It's not like my favorite book ever, but we're gonna go through with it because like I said, I'm only 80 pages in and this book is like 600 pages long so there is a lot of room to get better and the third book that i will be reading i have it on my kindle because it is an arc and that is worth the risk by via borges i'm not sure but they kindly sent me an e-arc so i'm going to be reading that because it comes out in june and I have to write my review of it in June, so I just kind of wanted to wait till it's a little bit closer so I could remember all of like the good stuff in it. So there you go. There are three books that I know that I'm reading, but let's go ahead and start with our TBR jar. I added some new prompts, so I'm very excited. And I also had went through all the prompts like earlier on, so I re-put all the old ones back in. So we have like a good amount. So let's see, prompt number one. Ooh, this is a new one. Okay, a book that you think might be a five-star read. Ooh, who? I feel like, so this Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez is one that I wanted to read this month because I want to read just for the summer in the summertime. Part of Your World was a four-star read and I've heard that Yours Truly is even better. I think this is an easy one. We're gonna go with Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. I am very excited to read this book and I've been wanting to read it for a while, so there we go. Prompt number two, multiple POVs. Okay, so I think Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home is multiple POVs and I really wanna read this one this month. Yeah, so this is BJ and Magnolia. They go back and forth between POVs. This is the third book in the Magnolia Parks universe. I just finished Daisy Hates and I'm obsessed and I kind of want to get through this book so I can get to the next Daisy Hates one. <laughs> so we have that. This is one, The Paradise Problem. It's the, Parad the Paradise Problem, which is a new release, is multiple POVs. See, the thing is I'm really in a romance mood compared to like a fantasy mood, but let me check this one. This fantasy maybe? Oh no, what about this little rom-com down here that I can't get out apparently? Okay, that's not multiple POVs. Ooh, is Powerful multiple POVs? I just finished Powerless and I loved it. Powerful is multiple POVs. So I think we're gonna go with Powerful by Lauren Roberts because I really wanna follow this up because Reckless is coming out soon. I really wanna get to this. So we're gonna put this in. This is like a short little read, a quick poolside fantasy read, I think. Prompt number three, a title with only two words. We have The Fury, The Cartographer, The Flat Share. Is that it? Or, oh, no. Oh, The Witcher. Yeah, okay, so. I think we're gonna go with The Fury because I've really been wanting to read this. And I'd started the audiobook, but I just have decided that audiobooks are not for me. I get bored. So I've been meeting to read the physical book and I love thrillers. I think I, I would love to read a thriller by the pool. So The Fury it is. Prompt number four. 
Oh, I just pulled two. I guess we'll keep this one since I didn't drop it. Nature on the cover. Okay, so we have the Paradise Problem. Magnolia Park's a long way home has some nature on it and it does have like the ocean, but I don't know, I feel like that's like, <laughs> that's stretching it a little bit there. The Fragile Enchantment has a lot of nature on it. I feel like I wanna go with the Paradise Problem just because it's summery and that just seems like fun, you know? Although I really wanna get to the Fragile Enchantment soon, so I hope I do. I keep saying I'm gonna read it and then I still haven't. Prompt number five. Ooh, this is a new one. A book with magic. Okay. Well, I have a lot, obviously a lot of books with magic on here. I could do The Fragile Enchantment if I wanted to put that one on there. I also could do The Temptest of Tea. Honestly, I'm thinking A, temp a Temptest of Tea because I heard it's very fast paced and fun. And this is a newer release. So we'll go with this one. Poor fra A Fragile Enchantment. That just does not seem like <laughs> it's ever going to get picked. Prompt number six. Oh my gosh, it's another new one. Under 300 pages. We're going to skip that one because I just don't really have anything on here. It'll fit that prompt. And like I said, I am wanting to be more intentional about my TBR. But I'll put that back in for like next month. Because who knows what I'll have by next month. A book that I bought because of booktube or bookstagram. Oh my gosh, we're going to do Magnolia Parks for this. Because even though this is not the first book, like I've heard so much about the series. So I bought like Magnolia Park series because of, I think booktube so we're gonna go with magnolia parks the long way home is that was that prompt number seven i have no idea that was prompt number six prompt number seven a recent purchase okay i have a few recent purchases so i don't have it in my possession but i just bought one perfect couple by ruth ware and i bought it for book of the month so i got it today so i think we're gonna do that does that count even though i don't have it like physically it's coming in because i want to read it in june because it's like a tropical thriller i think that works i mean this is like my my tbr jar so i'm making it work so prop number eight Oh my gosh, we're getting so many new ones. A poolside read. Okay, cool, cool. What's a poolside read on here? I think maybe how to end a love story might be a poolside read. I think the stand-up groomsman might be a good poolside read. I don't know too much about it. This is one that I just picked up in the bargain section at Books A Million, but it's, I don't know, about a bridesmaid. A bridesmaid and groom groomsmen put aside their differences to get their best friends down the aisle in the steamy opposite attract romantic comedy. I think romantic comedies are just so good for the pool, so we're gonna pick this one. It's by Jackie. I wish I could tell you who it's by. Jackie Lau, I think is how you say that. So we'll try this one out. Prompt number nine, start a new series. Oh my gosh. For the Wolf, The Witcher, Fine Print. Caraval, Mistborn, I have a lot of series on here. The Cruel Prince, One Dark Window, but I don't wanna start like something, like The Witcher has like so many books in it, I don't really wanna start that. And I don't want anything like super long, like, I don't know. Like I just don't love <laughs> reading long books in the summer as I say that as I'm reading The Sword Catcher, but whatever. I'm thinking One Dark Window by Rachel Gillen, I think. I don't know how to say her last name. But this is a duology and I've heard so many good things about this. So I think this is the series that we're gonna start this month. And our last prompt, prompt number 10 is, let's make it a good one. A book with flowers on the cover. Y'all, I think, I think a fragile enchantment is what we're gonna have to go with because like I said, it's been mentioned like three times in this video and it has a ton of flowers on the cover. So that's just like, it's a no brainer. Am I right or am I right? Okay, so let's do a quick recap before we end off this video. Starting off with the ones that we didn't actually pick out of the TBR jar, I'm gonna be reading Worth the Risk by Bia Borgs, and that comes out this month. Sword Catcher by Cassandra Clare. This is my first Cassandra Clare book, so very interested. And then The Seven Year Slip by Ashley Poston. Poston is how you say her name, I think. And then for our TBR jar picks, I'm reading a book with flowers on the cover. We chose A Fragile Enchantment by Allison Zaft. A recent purchase is gonna be, who is it? Oh my gosh, why did I just lose the name? One Perfect Couple by Ruth Ware. And I get that in hopefully soon. For start a new series, we're gonna be reading One Dark Window. A Poolside Read, The Stand Up Grimsman by Jackie Lau. For a book that I bought because of booktube or bookstagram, Magnolia Parks, The Long Way Home. A book with magic, A Temptest of Tea. For a book with nature on the cover, I picked The Paradise Problem by Christina Lauren. A title with only two words, The Fury by 
Alex Caldes. I'm butchering these names so bad. A book with multiple POVs, Powerless by Lauren Roberts. And then last but definitely not least, oh my gosh, I just, what the heck? A book that might be a five star read and that is Yours Truly by Abby Jimenez. So I'm gonna do my best to try to do reading vlogs for all of these books. Y'all, what if I actually finished my TBR this month? Honestly, I don't even have to finish it because I like to pick 10 books and then plus my other two, so 12 books. So I have a very good like mix of things. What if I like, got close and finished them all? That would be wild. So I'm gonna try to do a reading vlog for each one of these. Anyways, that is where I'm gonna end this video. Thank you so much for watching friends and I will see you in my next video. Bye friends.